Hey guys, Optimus Prime 86 here for another unboxing and review. This week, uh, our for our episode of That's Just Prime, we are gonna unbox and review a masterpiece figure, a Burning Convoy MP38 Plus Optimus Primal. I uh, took a waltz into my local GameStop this week and. Luckily, they had one of these bad boys on shelf, and I just could not pass up the chance. So here he is. So without further ado, let's begin. So let's take a look first at the packaging. So on the front, of course, we have, you know, the mandatory big product shot of both the gorilla and the um, robot mode uh, in his beautiful clear red and gold scheme uh for those of you who don't know this character basically is a character from the beast wars 2 movie uh it's an animated series in asia and uh, in that series in that movie him and leo convoy team up and they each become in this case burning convoy and flash leo convoy and they get like a different repaint. So this one for Optimus Primal. And uh, Leo is basically a gold, silver, and clear see-through. Like just like, you know, not, not colored see-through uh, plastic. So on the side, just like other masterpieces. And uh, the flap is open because I cut the tape before the review. So it gave access for the unboxing. Uh, but we have the product shot here again of the robot mode. On the other end, we have the gorilla. The lovely Asian writing is on the bottom. The Transformer Masterpiece Silver and um, lettering, and then the actual name of the figure. And on the back, all the features that come along. So the gorilla, the bot, the different face, because you can have either is non-visored with like monkey lips kind of face or the battle uh visor which is probably the mode i'll display them in the fact that the eyes light up uh they show the mega blasters on each side of his head uh that they can be turned into jetpacks as well the plasma cannons in his forearms uh the cyber blades the swords uh the two different faces as well for the monkey and uh, a list here of all the accessories that comes along so without further ado, let's get the box cracked open and let, let's free him from his plastic prison. So here he is. Let me just put the packaging away. So this is what it's going to look like when you get him. Oh, my swords are falling off a bit, but this is what it's going to look like when you get him. I already also pre-cut the tapes around. So there's four pieces of tape on each and it keeps this piece of plastic on, but Again, for the benefit of the review to save some time, I cut those off preemptively. So let's open up the instructions because we're going to need those. And here they are. This is just how to install the batteries at the back of his head. The nice cardboard um, character card. I love the art at the front and then at the back. So let's put that away. The lovely full glossy colored instructions on how to get them from Well the instructions themselves aren't colored, but you know, you get the gist. So get the pieces out uh, so in terms of plastic strap there's only one holding him down right at the midsection and he's out let's Is there no articulation at the knee Second, I'm gonna see how they position him. I guess not. So his legs stay straight. 
We just bend them down and put hands down. Whoops. Oh, uh, yes, this is how you change the head. You just remove. Ah, and the face is just simply removable. So you just literally just peg it on. So if I want to put this one on, which is the angry monkey. And I just peg it on. Angry monkey it is. So in terms of articulation, in monkey mode, at the leg you have some ankle, no knee. It's just a straight leg, but at the waist you have eh, about 90 degrees. Um, nothing twisty at the waist. Um, obviously the arm is going to go 360. There's a 360 rotation at the elbow. So basically like such and like such. There is also a 90 degree bend, or a little bit more than 90 degree at the elbow. There is a rotation at the wrist and the, the in, just like MP10, the index finger is independent, but the rest of the fingers are together. Um, the head kind of swivels a little. So it's about a 90 degree, maybe a little more. And a little up and down. But it's in, at least in monkey mode, it's not the most posable. It's not the most uh, articulated, let's say. And then you have the two swords also in the box. There we go. And then, <clears throat> as I was saying, the faceplate that I'm probably going to have him wear, the battle visor. So, without further ado, we'll leave the monkey face in the package. We'll move the package and we'll start transforming. I'll just like you, this is my first time, so... Bear with me. So transformation wise. So we're going to start with him in monkey mode. Every limbs. Straight. Down. Just like such. So this is how. Oh, this is how you're supposed to start. So both arms have to be brought up 90 degrees, oh, not the elbow, but the entire arm. There's a butt flap that needs to be brought up. So from what I understand, okay, so the legs is on a swivel there on at the midsection, so they need to be brought back. And then he needs to be brought completely. So basically, one second. This is how it is when you start. So you need to bring it down, swivel it back, and then bring his entire midsection forward. And it should look something like this. At this point, second yeah there we go there's a part in the shoulder that's brought out there we go we're gonna bring the head up
Oh, that's to display him, I guess, in gorilla mode. Huh. That's why Asian instructions aren't the greatest. Okay, so we still have to bring out the shoulders. So let's bring back the midsection the way it's supposed to be. So one second. So that was the instructions on how to really get him into monkey mode. Like into, you know, posed monkey. So for the transformation, we're supposed to, again, start from the way it was when you got him in the box, literally just all straight down. That part in the shoulder gets brought out on both sides. Then we turn him around. The gun compartments are opened. But oh, one sec. I guess I need to bring it forward more. I don't want to break it. Okay. So you open those up. And I guess we lift. There's a backpack here. Give me one second. There we go. Come on. This isn't the greatest. Ooh, there we go. It didn't break. It just needed a bit of force. <laughs> so yes, so this is supposed to be brought up like such. So this entire section, it's basically, oh, I see. So there's tabs right here on each side and there's slants on each side and it was pegged in there and it needs to be unlocked before it can be brought up. This should be all together. Okay. So then, it is brought backwards like such. The front chest part, one sec. The top, there we go is brought open and so is the middle and then we're going to literally flip one head in bring one head out Okay, then I guess then the chest goes back in and pushed in this time. And then this part comes clip up above. So the mid, what was the, his mid sec, his top section gets hit, hidden underneath what was his mid section. One second. There we go. Then for the backpack, we literally flip it 180 degrees. We bring out the guns. We bring the sides back up. Sec. 
It's not supposed to be out that far, I guess. So there. So there's a tab on each side of the backpack and there's a slant on each uh, gun hiding compartment, if you will, the things that we pulled to free the gun. So you just tab those there. It's gonna keep the backpack in the right place and angle. Perfect. And then at this point, you can decide if you want your guns down or on the side of his head. So for now, I'll put mine down. Now we bring the shoulders back in, which mine has pretty much done on its own by now. Um, so the part that's under the feet gets pushed out. The toes, the gold toes, get flipped in. There we go, like such. And the red tab that you see prop, propping there, you just hold the toes in and bring that tab straight out. Oh. Just like that. Now, the top leg covering is on an hinge and should come down over the knee. There we go, just like that. Not sure what they want here. I think it's supposed to be pried up straight, like such. Oh no. We literally pull it out on the inch, sorry. Pull it forward and then slant it. Okay. We're also, oh, actually, we're also going to flip it 180 degrees and then bring it up to close the, oh, not over the toes, like such to close the knee. So, like that, and then back up on the inch. I like the transformation so far, it's pretty neat. Then, we're going to flip these down like such. And this part of the leg is also on an inch. One sec. There we go, like that. And we'll come. Again. Where's this supposed to go? I see, okay. So you're gonna notice a gap, but it's normal. Give me one sec. So bring them down like such, and then this part at the front of the leg here comes and locks in to shut the knee. Wow, I like even the hydraulics there. And then at this point, since he's no longer in robot mode, in the gorilla mode, I mean, we have rotation. So we rotate the torso 180 degrees, bringing facing the right direction. So, so far, this is what your figure should kind of look like. We're getting there. Now, So we're going to create his chest, so the chest panel gets, all right, here, come on, there we go. So the chest panel gets brought up, what are they doing? 
pull it out, flip it around. So literally like this is how it is. So you literally pull forward, flip it, push it back, bring it down. So that comes and forms his robot chest. We lift the shoulders up, the shoulder pads, I should say, for Optimus. Um, we need to bring the hand, like the joint should be out here so that his elbow can bend. So we're already there on the other side. And this is Optimus. So let's look at him. Oh, and now that he's in robot mode, you can also bring the guns around on each side of his head. Like in the TV show. But here we have it. So let's have a look. All around. Very nice figure. I really like him. He's, uh, I mean, he's clear plastic and gold plastic, so he's definitely going to be put on display and never really touched again. Because, uh, you know, gold plastic syndrome and clear plastic syndromes are both a thing that's going to plague this figure. There we are. Um, in terms of articulation in robot mode, we have the shoulder going a full 360. We have the elbow also going a full 360. Uh, a 360 again at the wrist because it's the same arm. Um, at the leg, the leg here are more movement. We have a full 180. We do have a knee bend. And we also still have the ankle bend, but what I think is neat is the hydraulic is actually there. It's not just a design or like a carved into plastic. It's actually a work in hydraulic. So that's really neat. And of course, the rotation at the hip. The head is also rotating. Can It can do 360 and it can go up and down. Now, the other thing that I was going to do is change the face. So, this one might be a little harder than the monkey to reach. Might have to do what I did for the monkey. So first and pop the head. We don't want to do that. Well, it's there. It's anchored there solid, eh? I see where you separate. Okay. So the easy trick I just found, it was... So the face just literally cut like the monkey, just comes and slaps on. And when you look on the side, just by his gold antenna, you can see a little uh, crack in the plastic there. You can just put, if you just have a little bit of a nail, there you go. And it's just going to pry it off. And let's put, and here he is with the battle visor instead, which is the mode I'm going to display in. Also, he has a swords. So let's equip him. Equip them. And let's pry out those plasma cannons. So on his wrists, he has plasma cannons and, of course, his golden swords, as we've shown earlier. So he can be 
this back in. If I want them, there we go. I want the cannon out. But I want you to hold the sword. And here we have them. Also, for size comparison, I figured I'd bring in a few guest appearances today. So, first of all, the 10 year anniversary mold of the original um, Optimus Primal. Um, in size, this one is a little bit bigger, as you can see, uh, which I was surprised when. I got the figure. Usually MPs are, you know, a little bit more, um, a little bit bigger. But the difference lies in the quality of uh, the details. So his detailing is much better than what you get with this guy. Um, and in terms of like the hands, the guns, uh, even like the chest and stuff and the way like the legs are carved and so that's where you get your quality here as the MP. Uh, also, the swords, the plastic is different, and they're obviously shaped differently. There's a bit more details on these swords than there is on his. Um, there's the fact that you can change the faces as well, um, and the uh, the light of eyes. I don't know if the batteries come with it. Oh, I see. It's a, a light piping. I'm sorry, I thought... But basically, yes, um, with light piping, it looks like his uh, eyes light up, which this is not a feature with this guy. So that's one. The other one is the Telemoka version of Optimus, which actually I'll put between the two of them, which is basically a scaled down version of this mold um, made um, in a series of its own. And as you can see, this one is quite smaller. Um, but yeah, again, the detailing are almost exactly the same to the difference that this one has firing missiles that this one does not have. And his guns are a bit more detailed than his. But just for size comparison here, obviously Burning Convoy MP38, original uh, mold but 10 year anniversary reissue, and Telemoka series. So if... You were on the fence about this figure or were wondering, even with the, the regular coloring, the, because it's the same figure, I would recommend it 110%. I love, for, I'm a big Beast Wars fan. That's what got me back into collecting in the, in the late 90s. Um, I used to watch the cartoon as a kid and then kind of grew out of it. And then Beast Wars came out and that's what got me back into the Transformers world and to where I am today. And I'm glad. So Optimus uh, Primal is one of my favorite characters in the uh, entire Transformer universe. And I'm really happy with this figure. Um, posability is great. Looks great. Detailing is awesome. Transformation is, um, I won't say simple, but entertaining. It's not too complicated. It's just, it's fun. So, and the articulation is really good as well. Tight joints. So overall... Yes, I strongly recommend it if you have the chance to get your hands on it. So this was another review and unboxing. I thank you very much for watching. If you liked it, please leave a like, hit the bell to be subscribed of new content, and um, uh, subscribe. And this is Optimus Prime 86, rolling out.